Because I left there after like two and a half years because I wanted to like go on and get another degree and get my PhD and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So mm -hmm. my career took different routes, but I would look at the the totality of the 30 years. And I moved, I retired last year as a senior leader at Johnson Space Center wow. and the deputy for the next generation of commercial space stations. The International Space Station mm -hmm. is where our astronauts live and work right now, mm -hmm. but we'll be retiring that in 2030 and it will be replaced by space stations that are owned and operated by commercial companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos's company. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, managing that program. Wow. And before that, the commercial Luna program. And so I've had, I mean, I've been on the front lines of the human space, the U.S. human space flight program. It's incredible. This little girl from Trinidad, this small dot in the Caribbean Sea, that grew up to be on the front line and to have such an impact and, and, you know, just be a part, be at the table, not just be in the room, but be at the table. Incredible. That journey is like you say, that small little drop of water, mm -hmm. you hearing someone say he's an engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. He makes a lot of money mm -hmm. sold just yep. from that, that, from seed, that young that age, seed. that planted little seed turned into you being, this 